Hello, Brittany. Thank you for your post. Uh, I just want to start off with a Bible verse that touched me. Uh, it's a pretty basic Bible verse, but being saved, I think it's the verse that we can always come back to uh, as a reminder that we are saved and that we are loved. And that is John th chapter 3, verse 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who so ever believing in him will not perish but have everlasting life and i think it's that's a very profound verse even though it is somewhat basic uh, when you put it in you know worldly or in the flesh if you're a parent uh, i'm a parent and i think about it you know god gave his only son i don't even know if i could fathom or think about giving my only son and that's a loving thing to do because he did it for all of us to be saved and have our sins remitted so I understand what you're saying about your culture, you know, being the right culture because that's what you grew up in and that's what you know. I think it's easy for us to kind of get caught in that mindset that ours is a standard and, you know, if other people aren't operating the same way, then they're wrong. Uh, and I think you hit the nail on the head that you kind of got to think outside of the box and, box and keep in mind that people do come from different cultures and just because we're used to one thing, that doesn't mean that it's the norm or it's the standard. I think the correlation between what I put in my video blog and what you stated in yours is that I didn't come from, you know, poverty or anything like that. We weren't rich, but we we didn't really want for anything. And I stated that I would advocate for those who are less fortunate um, because those people who, who don't have things that we may have, uh, they deserve to be provided the services, the mental health, mental health services that they may need. So it's important to keep these things in the forefront. And remember that not everybody is as fortunate as we may be, uh, but they do deserve the same opportunities that we have.